So I finally did it. I got myself a double joystick setup. I never thought I would say this, but it's actually pretty darn good and gives you a whole new perspective on space combat or, well, ship combat in general. Not to say that I'm good at it, but it's definitely easier to achieve same amount of control, or perhaps even more, with two joysticks than it is with a keyboard and a mouse. This is not my maiden voyage, as that was pretty much straight on destruction. I mean, I got destroyed. Perhaps I should have taken a light fighter because this heavy one actually hits really hard and these simple targets are easily destroyed. One thing I actually learned quite quick, I want to conserve any kind of ballistic ammo I have. I want dedicated shots with that because my precision isn't on point and I know I'm not in perfect control as I was with the mouse and keyboard. So I will conserve any type of uh, ammo that is limited to, well, close quarters. And it actually pays off quite well. The ammo, the ballistic ammo I use, actually lasts because ship control is in my hands and the buttons under my fingers are for combat, defense and offense, which otherwise might be in very unpleasant positions on the keyboard. I can do certain maneuvers while dropping shaft or flares. I definitely understand why double joysticks are an ideal option. You also get to control the speed of where and how you are maneuvering. Because if you're gonna use WASD, it's always gonna go to the max unless you start uh, softly clicking it. It's really interesting after playing for a while, getting the hang of it, and actually understanding what my buttons do, I kind of felt that some of my fingertips are a wasted space. I'm just holding the joysticks, I don't have buttons under them or near them. Now, it's a good thing as it allows me to maneuver without uh, the fear of, uh, well, using something which I did not intend to use. But at the same time, it made me appreciate how much different and better this kind of flight actually is. Because on keyboard, almost every finger I had was in use for the ship's maneuverability control while now I can pretty much do it with the palm of my hand. There really isn't a lack of buttons as there are extra buttons all over the joysticks, but it just felt like my fingertips were wasted space because for control, I didn't need to use them as aggressively as I did need to use my keyboard. I did somewhat get the hang of the first person flight and combat. I was very wary and actually very conservative of my ammunitions, but I often like to fly in third person as well and that was a whole nother deal. Usually, flying a third person is not that hard with the keyboard and mouse. It's mostly because I'm used to it. There was actually another big difference. Because I needed a lot less uh, use of fingers and often thinking about how I would maneuver and double check if I'm pressing the right things, if I missed something or something I pressed didn't happen, it was a lot simpler for me to actually keep my eye on the target his movements, maneuverability, distances, and some of the other things similar for my ship, like my movement speed, my distance from the target, or direction I'm moving. All of that was a lot simpler to focus on and manage with two joysticks than it was with a keyboard and mouse. I wasn't really prepared for third-person ship fights with joysticks. But still, it was a great try and I actually even landed some hits. This setup, which I have, which are double Trustmaster 16,000s, a duo set is actually a pretty darn good way to approach space combat and it gives you a whole new perspective of how it works, how it is better and how you actually manage to have some really good control compared to the mouse and key. Setting it all up, understanding all the values, all the keys and making some changes of course were quite vital. For example, one of the more annoying parts regarding this setup was how the thrusting forward and the moving backwards works because it felt very invert. And that was one of the things I changed instantly. Also moving up and down took a little while to understand while also turning and uh, maneuvering your ship with both joysticks at the same time. It's not easy to learn these new things, especially if you are very used to the old ways you used to do it. But it did feel great to improve my space combat capabilities and actually make it better for the long run. Now, how the low flight guys do it, I have no idea because I am not set for that, at least not yet. But yes, it's definitely a good upgrade with a lot of control. And one of the few games where I actually think joysticks are a great idea. 
But I've been going on for long enough, and if you have joysticks, why did you tell me sooner about this? <laughs> anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.